What's up, man? It's your boy Dita Anjo, man. Today, uh, I just want to talk about uh, being around a lot of hopeless people, man. Uh, during this time in my life, as y'all see that I'm locked up, it's a lot of hopeless and wicked, evil individuals, man, on a daily basis that I have to deal with. Uh, like I said, I'm human too, man. I'm battling things myself. But I am a man that wants better for myself. And there's just a lot of people who don't want to grow. Sometimes, man, your environment can change who you are. And a lot of times I'm afraid to try to fit in with that environment because I don't want that environment to change who I am. I feel a uh, the best peace and the best uh, time of my life is when I'm isolated and alone. A lot of times I feel like I just don't fit in with people. You know, I'm more so trying to stabilize my mental and stay positive all the time. But a lot of people just ain't on the same path, man. And I just don't align with them. Y'all wonder why I don't come out to sell a lot. Y'all don't see the outside. Well, that's partially the reason. It's because I just don't align with certain individuals. I know I'm not better than them. But when you have a passion, a dream, a goal, and you really want to elevate in life, you have to block out the noise and stay away from those low vibrational people. Because dealing with certain individuals, man, can become an influence in your life. And at the end of the day, man, it's like the saying go, man. You hang around smokers, you become a smoker. You start hanging around rich thinkers, you become a rich thinker. You start hanging around poor thinkers, you become a poor thinker, man. I always want the best for yourself, man, and surround yourself around like-minded people because that's a, a part of growth when you start surrounding yourself around negative people you become negative you start lowering yourself to the vibration man but yeah that's why i stay to myself a lot i have great uh a great vision i have a uh a plan and I'm actually accomplishing a lot alone you know biggest thing my biggest accomplishment um, since I've been incarcerated was uh, getting my mind together man being mentally free you know that was my biggest accomplishment my hardest uh, trial and tribulation in life was my addictions, uh, learning how to uh, overcome my addictions. And I know a lot of times we battle that, just not in prison, but everywhere, man, even on the outside. I, I learned that addictions been a, a rough journey and a rough battle. Uh, I don't have the solution to everything, man, but those that's battling those addictions, the best solution I can give you, like I gave my uncle the other day, who's also battling addictions, is uh, fast, man. Take away from your stomach. You don't have to fast long. It can be just a 12-hour fast a day for 10 days. And just watch the power in it, man. It will change your mindset, and it also change your, uh, your pattern and make you be appreciative and grateful for the things when you do start eating. But when you do start back your little habits that you hook to, man. But eventually, when you stay uh, constant and fasting, eventually you can kick those habits. Trust me, man. I'm a man who had many habits. I used to do a lot of things, man. But uh, I guess that taste is going out my mouth, man. And I'm better. I'm still battling little things, but it's nothing that I can't handle or get straight, man. Like I say, man, know what's perfect. We all go through things. But, man, sometimes, man, we have to reevaluate our lives, 
reevaluate the people in our lives because those people can become your downfall, man, when you start picking up their ways. Influence is a big part, a big thing in our society. Our children picking up, uh, shaking their behinds and listening to this nonsense music and start, uh, what you call it, chasing identity, trying to figure out who they are, not knowing who they are because they want to be like this person they look up to, these idols. And for all those that's making music, man, like I say, man, if you're making a living off it, man, I salute you, but this this me now, I don't agree with a lot of things. You know, we have a youth, and we want the youth to be better thinkers than we are. We want the youth to do great. We don't want the youth to sell their souls or sell their selves, man for some money because money means nothing in this world man loving yourself means more than money understanding who you are means more than money teaching your kids principles morals traditions or whatever you stand for man means more than money not shaking your behind not seeing not getting high not competing with one another because it's not about that. It's about growing and building, man. Helping each other, lifting one and each other up, man. In times of needs or whenever, man. But uh, like I say, man, I'm just a man in the cell, man. Just expressing his thoughts. I just had it on my mind. And I just felt that y'all should know, man. But I hope some of y'all can relate to this message and understand what I'm saying. It's your boy G the Honcho, man. Peace and love, and I'm gone. See you next time.